hi guys welcome to PHP tutorial series in this video I will show you how to create reports in PHP or how to create a form in which you can display your reports okay you look uh, you can see here I have created this form I have given it a name as reports tutorial in PHP and here I have taken two uh, drop down menus in that I have uh, call uh, or uh, in this uh, one drop menu I have made it as standards and second drop down I have uh, displaying I am displaying courses in second drop down ok the basic functionality is I am choosing standard here as first PUC and, and I have different courses in my second drop down if I select first PUC and in the uh, and uh, one of the courses in second drop down and I select and if I submit it will display me the student names and their gender who whichever has taken that course if I second uh, if I select second PUC and if I select science and then if I submit you can see you can see uh, I will get different set of students and their gender if I select second PUC commerce if I submit I will get another different set of students so this is uh, this is one kind of report I am going to create in my next tutorials or uh, in this tutorial I will uh, start to create a form or I will start working on this front end or this form designing and then in my next videos I will start working on uh, its backend because this kind of uh, behavior or functionality you can use in your projects or in your um, uh, college projects or any other if you are working on uh, some kind of uh, um, reports you can use this functionality okay guys let us go to our notepad here you can see I have created one configuration file db and I have given it a name as db.php this is a connection file these two statements you need to connect to your database okay we will come to this later now let us go to our database okay for that you need one database I have created one database here and I have created few tables in this database like courses, faculty, standards, students and subjects okay in this database I am going to use and I have filled these tables with uh, some set of data you can see I have some data in all the tables standards, first PUC and second PUC and courses you can see arts commerce and science these are the course name which i am retrieving here and displaying in this drop downs okay these values are coming from the back end uh, from my database as uh, similar to similar to this okay now let us start let us go to our notepad and create one file as index.php okay first you need to go to your XAMPP folder and htdocs here you need to create one folder I have created a folder named reports2 ok and in that folder we need to create one file index.php file or whatever name uh, you like let us start Doc type html with this statement I am telling my browser to consider this page as an html5 web page ok now let us start with html let us save it reports we need to select reports too ok index.php and now let us create head Okay. Oh no. Title. Okay. Reports in 
PHP. Now let us link our files. I have only one CSS file, so I'm linking this. I have not created yet. Okay, now R E L relationship equals to style sheet type equals to text by CSS and here you need to link your CSS file CSS slash style dot CSS okay uh, okay now I have linked this style dot CSS now come to body just create body and let us create a view with a class of container okay and let us create a wrapper also now let us style it first okay let us create a CSS file container I'm, uh, I'm uh, setting my container size as 960 pixel and margin zero auto okay background color as white and let us use this universal selector to remove default padding and margin from our elements from our HTML elements 0 px okay, let us color our body okay body is not a class okay now copy this copy and paste it here and now let us check which is the what is the color this blue color and Okay, select body here you can see let us copy this and come here okay now let us save it reports to then we need to create a folder as CSS and let us give it a name as style.css okay now let us let us give it a width for time being then we after that we will delete the uh, sorry height say 400 pixel now let us come now let us go to our folder reports to and index you can see you have to, we have to run this file let us come to our browser let us open one more tab or 127 dot slash reports to index with php okay here you can see i have created background and a container and i want to give some margin at the top of my container margin on top of 10 pixel you can see now i need to create this okay. guys I'm running short of time in my next video I will add this header and then I will uh, add this uh, drop down boxes and table okay uh, I hope you like this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys